Bishop Wooden here. Welcome to segment two of the Bible says this. What say you? Psalms 33 verse four. The A clause says for the word of the Lord is right. Now I'm excited today. I'm here praising and supporting that powerful woman of God, Pastor Kimberell, 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 who has more courage than the average male bishop. The average male superintendent, the average male uh, moderator. Let me talk about these Baptists a little bit. Moderator, the average male preacher today. Because you know what? Where are the men? So many of our preachers today have become cowards. So many of our preachers today, you know, are nuanced. So many of our preachers today just avoid the issues at all. And this lady. In her church, and I'm going to play the clip. You've seen it, but I'm going to play it at the end today. Told the truth. She talked about how if you are struggling with that homosexual spirit, ask the Lord to deliver you. I mean, uh, she talked about how the, the homosexual spirit uh, promotes confusion. Now, you know it's true. Bruce Jenner thinks he's Caitlyn. Now, that ain't confusion. What is? When you got men walking around who and women saying, God put a, a male spirit in a female body. So I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really a male, but my body is female. And, and people believe that we're in an age of lies. You know, people now try to self-identify as a someone and something that they're not. And we're asked to believe that stuff, go along with that stuff, and tolerate that wickedness when we all should be doing what Kim Burrell and what Patrick Wooden has been doing for many years uh, and many others, and that is declaring the truth of God. But you know what has happened since President Obama, since the LBGT community has gained so much power? Today, portions of the Bible, when you preach the Bible, you got church people who accuse you of preaching hate when you preach the Bible. They accuse you of bashing. Now, since when has saying what God says uh, been uh, described as bashing other than of late? You got preachers now who even when they get ready to preach against homosexuality, they give so many disclaimers that, that by the time they finally say what they uh, uh, are going to say, they say nothing. Now, listen, my friends, I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. Listen, my friends, I'm not trying to be mean. Listen, my friends, I'm not judging anyone. Listen, my friends, I'm not trying to bash anyone. Listen, my friends, I'm not picking on anybody. Listen, at my, listen, my friend, listen, listen. Li then they finally say, well, you know, the Bible says that uh, 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 homosexuality is wrong. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. But I'm not trying to bother anybody to each his own and blah, blah. Shut up, preacher. Go do something else. You, you're not even fit for the pulpit. God's going to remove you if you don't repent and, and, and stand on God's word. And here's this lady. And I mean, she's getting incoming from everywhere. Oh, my Lord. The, the ladies who are going to be on this movie. Uh, Patricia, what's the name of the movie that's coming out? Hidden figures, hidden figures, uh, Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, and all the, uh, even Pharrell, Pharrell Williams. Happy. It doesn't sound so happy now. And uh, uh, all these are, are, are kind of, oh, they just, they, they have hung Kim Burrell out to dry. And uh, I, I'm going to deal with it. And, uh, Ellen Degenerate, Ellen, excuse me, DeGeneres canceled Kim Burrell from appearing on her show because Kim Burrell referred to the homosexual spirit as a perverted spirit. It is. What, 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 sex between two women uh, is a perversion. The, the female body was made to receive the male body. I mean, it's a perversion. So they, they cancel Kim Burrell, and, and Kim's out there, and, and, and listen, where are the voices of the preachers? Now, I, I admit, I wanted to see if Kim was going to take it back before I jump in the fight, because if she's going to fold like a cheap tent, there's no point in me even saying anything. But Kim has proven to be tougher than a lot of these guys I know of, and I know some of you fellas say, well, wouldn't might be talking about me. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You shouldn't have folded. You stand your ground. You don't let someone cause you. You make a declaration, and then because you get a little pushback, then all of a sudden you're going to come and, and apologize for preaching God's truth. The devil is a liar. 
Praise the Lord. What about preaching the word in season and out of season? Jesus is angry for the silence of the church. According to uh, Mark's gospel chapter 3, when Jesus asked uh, the disciples, he said, uh, he, when he asked the Pharisees uh, whether it was, uh, uh, he says, is it lawful to do good or to do uh, evil on the Sabbath days? The Bible said they held their peace. Read it for yourself. Mark chapter 3, verse 4. They held their peace. They wouldn't say a word. That's what, that's what the church is doing today. People are holding their peace. They won't speak up. The Bible says in verse chapter 3, Mark's gospel, verse 5, and when Jesus looked around, looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto the man, stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched forth his hand, and the Lord healed him. The Lord doubled down. When he received silence from those who knew they should speak up, the Lord healed the man anyway on the Sabbath day. You secret service. Let me tell you something. God has no secret service. Christians, when you are on the Lord's side, you are obligated to speak up. Kim Burrell told the truth. Kim Burrell spoke with compassion. We're getting ready to play the clip. Kim offered deliverance to those who are struggling with the homosexual, homosexual spirit. Uh, she didn't even call them wicked. She was talking about that spirit, Gary. It is a spirit. It's the spirit of the devil. It's the spirit of perversion. It is the spirit of, of, that causes uh, abominable behavior. Is uh, Dr. John R. Diggs Jr., is he, is he filled with hate speech when he said this, when he gave his report? He says, as a physician, it is my duty to assess behaviors for their impact on health and well-being. When something is beneficial, such as exercise, good nutrition, or adequate sleep, it is my duty to recommend it. Likewise, when something is harmful, such as smoking, overeating, uh, alcohol, drug abuse, and homosexual sex, it is my duty to discourage it. Now, is this doctor a hater also? Is he homophobic? Hey, Ellen, uh, uh, Ellen and uh, Yolanda, is, 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 is his words, are these the words of a hateful person who warns men, by the way, uh, the instances of anal sex, uh, anal cancer is, uh, in, in male homosexuals, uh, they, they are multiplied much higher than the, the, heterosexual, uh, the heterosexual counterparts according to this medical report. These men are literally killing themselves. They are dying uh, 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 due to their behavior. And so uh, is, is the medical community, those who will speak up, are they speaking hate because they tell the truth? No, it's not hate. It's the truth. It's the truth. And it's the truth that needs to be told. And it doesn't matter whether uh, uh, the Democrats and, and President Obama or any Republican, the law cabin Republicans are out there or, or anyone else say any difference. God's word is right. And Kim Burrell, hang on in there, Kim. Kim, I applaud you. Kim Burrell, tougher than the average guy preacher that I know of, told the truth. She offered deliverance. Now, uh, preachers, how about coming out the closet and let's defend Kim. But Kim, in the next segment, I, I got something that I got to tell you now, and, and I want you to receive it because, see, the Lord is doing something for you. The Lord has given you a platform. Kim, don't make it about yourself. And Kim, whatever you do, don't take down. Don't take it back. Stand your ground, woman of God. Uh, there are people out there who love you, who believe in you. Uh, hey, I like you better as a preacher, as a singer. I mean, uh, uh, your lovely lady uh, has a tremendous career, but there is nothing like telling the truth. And at this point in your life, did you think that the God of the Bible would honor you in such a manner? Because you are honored, Kim. Kim, you are honored. Jesus said, Matthew 5, blessed are men. Blessed are ye when men will revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Uh, amen. Look at this. You have joined the ranks of the elites. 
for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Uh, now we can say Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel. Oh, we can talk about the apostle Paul. We can talk about Peter. We can talk about all the greats. And in there, Kimberell. Kimberell, you've joined the class of true preachers, not these little glass jaw guys, these guys who are out there who are just trying to keep their ministry doors open and they will do anything to keep their church going except stand on God's truth when it really matters, when it really matters. Now I'm going to play the clip and uh, I want you to join me for segment three because I have a little advice for Pastor Kim Burrell. Because Kim, Kim, some of your friends have turned on you. And the friends who've turned on you aren't the friends that, I, that, that you're probably thinking about. I'm not talking about the church folk. Because the church is so watered down now, anything goes in the church. You can be a sanctified prostitute. You can be a saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost bartender, and the church won't say a word. I mean, you can be a cold man of God who moonlights as a, an assassin, a contract killer, and just say, well, this is my job. This is my career. This is how I do my job. And the church says, listen, you can't hold, your people got to do their job, people have to work, you know. And so if this is the way they do their jobs, then we're not going to bother them. I mean, we're so watered down now that uh, it's a shame. But I'll tell you, Kim, who makes a powerful stand, who wants your blood, who wants your soul, who wants you to sell out, who wants to silence you when it comes to God's truth. The world, Pharrell, the rest of them who have sold out. They've taken you in. They smiled at you. But now you're learning that there's a price, baby, to be paid. They, they are the most intolerant of them all. They want to censor, censure and censor you. And you got to decide whose table uh, you are going to eat from. Now listen to this powerful message that Kim Burrell preached and join me for the third segment. Hang on in there, Kim! She preached, but don't mess with my sisters. That's how he said it. That's why I'm calling him. So he refused his invitation to the church. Anybody in this room who's dealing with a homosexual spirit, beg God yeah. to free you. Yeah. You claim that in 2017, you'll die from it. Sexual man, when you come out and reveal what you did 